Hello and welcome, Libra. This is your June 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Libra, what we do here, we will look into the overall energy for the months ahead. Before we look into your emotional core, see if there's some healing that can happen or needs to happen and always there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of June 2023 for the sign of Libra. Librans, are you ready? Let's go right in. Let's have a look. The overall energy for the month of June for the sign of Libra is quite interesting because you're not sure which way to go. Um, I work with um, Native American guides and with spirit animal guides and you have the beaver and the panther. So what the guides are saying is, on the one hand side, you are the builder of bridges. You are the person that wants to be there for everybody. On the other hand side, that leopard with the unique stripes that you are is now hiding inside the panther. What that translates into is to understand while you have every intention to be your giving self, a part of you is already quite tired. So logically speaking, in the month of June, you are being asked to do less and to acknowledge how you truly feel, right? And if people can't take it, tough luck. But here, while I'm not getting an entire break or a breakaway of things, it's important to begin to acknowledge your limits when it comes to the energy that you can actually sustain, if that makes sense, right? So <coughs> that is the overall energy for the sign of Libra for the month of June 2023. Now let's have a look at your emotional core, uh, see what's coming up there. Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> you have the beaver again. And you have the tomahawk. So in total, what the guides are saying is, when it comes to your emotional core, how do you feel? Um, how do I carry myself in a relationship? What the guides are saying is, should you choose to stay in that relationship, then keep being your authentic self and make peace with what came before. If you find that there is lingering issues and you cannot really make peace or the relationship isn't really going anywhere, it is your job to either leave or to make that known. Conversely, if you are not in a relationship yet, the issue here is to understand when you are opening up to a new love. So this isn't about healing, this is about love and intimate relationships, for want of a better word. Make sure you at ease with your past and with yourself before you open up <coughs> to a new beginning when it comes to romantic stuff. Right? You right there, Fitch? So, and now lastly, dear Librans, we're looking at the, uh, at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of June 2023. If you haven't done so, please click the subscribe button really, really important because it really helps us out a little. And when it comes to opportunities, you have the domesticated or the domestic cat and you have the raven. What the guides are saying to you, opportunities when it comes to making changes regarding what you do that sustains yourself, they might not be numerous. But you have to also start or continue depending on where you are in your on your journey is to relax about or around opportunities, right? Once you know who you are, once you know these are my skills, I can do this, right? Um, just understand that when people put you under pressure and you feel like, you know, that's just not right because I'm doing what I can, then obviously that's not the place for you. So the domestic cat or domesticated cat is saying to you, things have to be on my turn. And because you have the raven, which means there's magic, uh, inside you. 
at this point in time, when it comes to opportunities, whoever hires you, or if you're a person that is self-employed and whatever it is you do for a living, you have to do it for the highest good. And people who want to be with you have to acknowledge you first, if that makes sense, right? So, so don't go into any um, work, if that makes sense, thinking, oh, I'm not really welcome here, or it's not really what I do. And the other thing that I'm getting is to not stand in for anybody else. They either want you, it's not good enough to get you there because someone else couldn't make it, right? So again, um, when it comes to opportunities that just come to you, they're not going to be so easy, easily um, to spot or so easy to spot. Uh, but the point here is relax around things and don't sell yourself short and understand that, you know, you have a lot of skills um, that you will bring to anything and everything and uh, people have to deserve you first. Okay, guys, that's all I got. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please like, subscribe and share and you might want to leave a comment. It would be lovely to hear from you. See you all next month. Bye-bye.